guys, it's Jennifer Style here. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. Posting content every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Make sure to subscribe for today's video. We will be commenting, reacting, re-watching uh, the uh, Panic episode 2, the scenes involving Ray and Heather. If you haven't seen my first commentary of the of their scenes together on episode 1, I'll link it down below. So for today's video, we're going to do the same for episode 2. Can't wait. Let's go. that she's the one that answered him. Everyone was quiet and she said no very, very nicely. It's like their moan. I don't know what they're saying, but basically it's like a non-verbal communication between the two of them at this time. It's like they're looking at each other and they're answering to each other and no one else is talking. It's like they're the only ones interacting and she's the only one responding to him. So I like that about this scene. Starting with the players we think are most likely to win. Ray Hall. Everyone's betting on him. He's reckless, fearless, he's not afraid of pain. Also, he might be a psychopath. Ooh, also that. And he's a legacy. His brother Luke won the game a few years ago. So I think that that scene was mostly an introduction of what the um, the reputation is of this guy. And it's a way to kind of like uh, introduce him as the bad guy of the show. And... Uh, it's uh, and also it's also a way to present what she feels about him and what she thinks of him, which she kind of like calm matches what everyone else thinks of him, except is probably his closest friends. Um, so I the scene that's coming up, I really love it. Let me tell you, when I watched this show and this scene in particular, I was like screaming. <laughs> it's great. Let's watch it now. He's waiting for her. I, the way he looks at her here, it's amazing. Come on, come on, you got it, you got it. Let's go. Yo, no. Hey, you want to sit around showing your ass all night? They got openings at Scarlet's. And are you by all your girlfriends? I get my girlfriends all around, darling. They sit on my lap for free. I know I knew you were stupid. But what you just said really just drove it home. That's the thing about stupid decisions. They're always the fun ones. Don't you have anywhere else to be? Nope. Couldn't be better than this. You got a little closer. Closer. You're welcome, by the way. First of all, I love this <laughs> so much. The way he kind of pulls her and says, you're welcome, by the way. It, it's like, I did not expect that at all. I didn't expect that he was doing on purpose. Uh, I thought he was just being himself. Um, I think I kind of understood that he was trying to deviate our attention from looking down or from the, the fear of heights, right? Um, I feel I, I kind of noticed the look that he did or when he was saying close or closer. That's why I kind of figured out that he was doing this to help her out. Um, and because he cared, he didn't want her to fall. So I think, and and that's really important because if we compare it to what happens afterwards, he basically, actually, I don't remember if it, if it happens before or after. I think it happens after. But when he uses the light to distract, um, uh, what's his name, Jake? I don't remember the name of that guy. But anyway, uh, of the other character. But uh, basically, the other character the that is pre-athletic. Um, and at this time, I don't remember his name. But anyway, uh, so he was trying to distract him. And you can see he didn't care less if he fell off. <laughs> like, that's, I was kind of concerned. Oh my God, he's going to make him fall. I guess he had confidence that he'd be athletic enough to survive. In the end, you can see a difference with her. He was very... Um, he was very careful and wanted her to succeed and to win at the end of the day. And that's what I like about him. Even throughout the show, he never once felt a competition with her. Always felt excitement and wanted her to win at the end. So I like that about him. And like I said, the way he's approaching her is different from the way he's approaching other people and his competitors. So it's really important. Chew toy, huh? Heather? Just be careful. I hate it when one of the good ones gets broken. I'll be careful. 
filming her. I think the scene, particularly, it's really interesting because you can see that she's the only one who can understand that he's a very sweet person underneath. He's very sensitive. And when he gets attached, he gets attached. And she doesn't want him to get hurt because Heather is tough. And uh, it seems like she has the reputation of being tough, even though she doesn't use people. She's very honorable in that sense. But... Again, she's tough. She's a tough lady. She's tough to be around and she doesn't fool around with anybody. So I guess um, she's afraid for him to fall in love with her if she doesn't feel the same or she feels because she's still fallen for the reputation that he has and, that, and she thinks he's a psycho, you know? So I guess uh, his friend is looking after him because he's saying, hey, this woman thinks that uh, things like that about you so you feel in love with her be careful because at the end of the day it might be one-sided because she thinks like that about you anyway guys let me know if you what you guys think about this their interaction in episode two it gets better from here it gets better from here can't wait to re-watch them and comment on these scenes with you in the follow-up episodes and again i would like to know your thoughts drop a comment down below make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time ciao